Alright guys, in this problem we're solving for grams. So we're going to solve for the mass. Uh, so in our formula Q is equal to MC delta T. We're solving for this portion of the equation. So we need to write out what we know. Q is equal to 41,840 joules. Our mass is equal to X, since that is what we're solving for. Our C for water uh, the specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius, and our delta T is temperature final minus temperature initial, and our final temperature in this case is 28.5 degrees Celsius, since that's the temperature the water rose to, minus 20 degrees Celsius, 22 degrees Celsius, excuse me. When you subtract those, you get a delta T of 6.5 degrees Celsius. Now we just need to plug these numbers into our equation. So we have 41,840 joules is equal to a mass, that's x, times the specific heat of water, 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius times uh, delta T, which is 6.5 degrees Celsius. Now, on the right side of this equation, we can combine these two items. So 41,840 joules is equal to 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius times 6.5 degrees Celsius. When you multiply those numbers together, you will get 27.196. And then notice what we have that's like. Degrees Celsius is like here, so we're just left with joules per gram. And then times x. So at this point, it just becomes a basic algebra problem. We're solving for x. So we're going to divide out 27.196 joules per gram on each side. We can cross that off because that's like now. And then divide this side by 27.196 joules per gram. Notice here when we cancel these units, we're left with grams, which is our unit of mass, which is exactly what we want. So 41,840 divided by 27.196 gives you 1,538.5 grams and that equals our mass so that is our final answer for mass